Summer short three, does advanced primary care reduce access for patients? Today, I speak with Dr. Vivek Garg. American healthcare entrepreneurs and executives you want to know, talking. Relentlessly seeking value. I cut this clip out of episode 407 with Dr. Vivek Garg from Humana. And it's actually a really nice follow on from the show last week with Dr. Scott Kennard, where we talked about the blowback that happens with clinicians at a clinic. This clinic had put into effect a bunch of the comprehensive primary care kinds of things that Dr. Gard talks about in this summer short. But what happened in Dr. Kennard's case is a new practice manager tried to go back to the olden days. And spoiler alert, it was a kerfuffle. All the docs and the rest of the clinicians staged what sounded like a mutiny on the bounty moment from the way Dr. Kennard described it. So this summer short you're about to hear, and the one from last week, again, share one key point. Doctors, advanced practice clinicians, medical assistants, pretty much everybody on the team really likes a well-executed, operationally excellent, transformed primary care model, and it produces better patient care. I was reading Dr. Pearl's book, Uncaring, the other day, and he summed up the reason why I think these transformed primary care practices do better. He was quoting Atul Gawande. And here's the quoted quote. Atul Gawande said, The public's experience is that we have amazing clinicians and technologies, but little consistent sense that they come together to provide an actual system of care from start to finish for people. We train, hire, and pay doctors to be cowboys, but it's pit crews people need. I interviewed Dr. Pearl, by the way, so stay tuned for that show coming up. In this summer short, Dr. Garg digs into one common objection to more comprehensively comprehensive primary care, and that is that by improving care, we decrease throughput and therefore access to primary care, especially in areas where there are not enough primary care doctors. My name is Stacey Richter. This podcast is sponsored by Aventria Health Group. And here is Dr. Vivek Garg in a clip cut from episode 407. One of the things that you mentioned is comprehensive primary care improves access to patients. And frankly, I've heard the opposite, that if you have If throughput is a thing, right, and if instead of seeing whatever the average is, patients a day, you're seeing half that number, then access is diminishing. I mean, this is kind of a big knock on some of this stuff. How would you respond to that? Yeah, I've heard that argument, and I've lived in that environment, and I think it's superficial because is that really access to have five-minute visits with patients? And what do you get out of that? Do you get somebody who actually understands what you're struggling with? You get somebody who takes ownership of how they could fully help you in your next steps. Do you get thoughtful decision-making and partnership? And so I think we're talking about the supply problem of clinicians as if 3,000 patient panels in primary care, and we specifically focus on seniors. as So I'd say there are also people with more needs than a younger, healthier adult sometimes. And so we've got to account for that through our model. But if we can make practice more sustainable and more impactful, we, have, we will also have more people stay in primary care and more people choose to practice in primary care. I also think that we have to deliver a team-based model of care. And many studies have shown that actually if you try to do all the work of a PCP right now, there aren't enough hours in the day. And it sounds a little bit cliche to say that, but that is actually the current reality for many primary care team members and not just doctors nurse practitioners, medical assistants, nursing staff, social work staff, because they take accountability for all of it and they try to do it all. So I agree there may be a short-term issue of sorting through how do we confront the numbers, but I actually think with the right team-based care setup and the right time and attentiveness to patients, we will deliver significant outcomes that actually may make some of our needs in terms of supply of different procedures and other things not necessary and we will reactivate the funnel of people choosing to practice primary care, which right now is just diminished 
over the past two decades really rapidly and significantly. Dr. Scott Kennard says sort of similar things, that there are much more efficient ways to organize a practice than one patient after another without the support of the surrounding team put together in a way that enables high-risk patients to get seen immediately, low-risk patients to have access but not necessarily take the same amount of a physician's time, which is really essential as you're thinking about how to operationalize almost anything. Hey, could I ask you to do me a favor? If you are part of the relentless tribe working hard to transform healthcare in this country, I don't need to tell you that we need as many on our side as we can get. The most vital thing that you could do to help expand the reach of this show is to leave a rating or a review on iTunes or Spotify and or share this show with colleagues or decision makers. Personally, I cannot appreciate it more when I see the reviews and they really count towards our search rankings. Thanks so much for listening.